Hey, hey, grub gun here. Fucking camera's crooked. Hold on. There we go. Of course, that doesn't really matter anyway, does it? Hey, 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 grub gun here. I'm back. Look, everyone, fucking. I'm filming video, and this isn't. This is another fucking package video. I, I'm doing a trade, I'm in the process of doing a trade with the one, the only, the man, the myth, the legend, fucking Chad Bailey. Um, am I yelling? Whatever. And uh, my, the stuff that I have to send him is still here. So, shows you how lazy I am. Like I said, if you're ever doing a trade with me, don't fucking hold your breath. Don't sit there looking at the fucking mailbox thinking, is this stuff going to come today? Because it probably won't. But, um... Yeah, so I got the box, Chad Bailey's side of the fucking bargain, um, today. And so, here's the fucking box. <laughs> Shouldn't have showed that. Oh, you're not going to see anything on there. Uh, here's the box. Priority mail from uh, good old US of A. Um, where the fuck did I put the fucking knife? Here's the knife that I'm going to use to open her up. Ooh. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I can kind of remember what's in this box, but uh, I know I remember a few things, but really only a couple things. So you're going to be as surprised as me. <laughs> well, maybe not as, as surprised, but, you know, comparatively, you know, maybe 20% as surprised as me to see what's in here. So... I'm cutting it open, and he did say he said that he uh, and did include a note because in the last one that he sent me, uh, there was no note, which, uh, as we all know, is a fucking uh, it's uh, it's a no no, to put it mildly. So here we go. I'm opening the box. You can see it's open now. Uh, there's some bubble wrap on the top. Uh, I would show you the uh, actual taking the items out of the box, but who needs to see here? Well, fuck. You want to see what's in the box? There, you fuck. There, there's stuff in the box. So, okay, so I'm opening. I'm in the process of opening the box. The box is being opened, and it's now uh, open, and holy shit, dude, there's a bunch of stuff in here that's, uh, here's some bubble wrap. And that's good. Here's the note. I don't... Holy fuck, dude. <laughs> uh, and it's uh, on this official stationery uh, that he uh, he's evidently had uh, uh, printed up, uh, made specially. It, it feels like vellum, to be honest. This feels like vellum. So that's a, that's, that's a very expensive... Uh, way to, to go Chad. So it says from the office of Chad Bailey, Dear Grub, you wanted a note so I'm literally writing this while on the throne on top of an overturned clothes hamper. Thank you for doing a second trade with me. Our utter laziness to get up and go to the post office has led to large packages that are sure to please. Sadly, that is the only time either of us will ever hear that. BK Gamer donated the more exciting PS1 game in this box. Enjoy. Your pal Chad Bailey. And uh, you can see the official watermark on the edge there. He's spent, like, this is, uh, his secretary, he must sh must have paid her overtime for, uh, to, to, ha to write this out. Because this is actually good. This is, uh, th I believe he used a quill, in fact, to write this. So, uh, that's pretty good. And if I'm not mistaken, no. So, there's the note. So, I'm going to start pulling shit out of this box. And he, he, he actually sent me one of his business cards, um... I won't show the uh, phone number, but uh, it's it says Chad Bailey, Master of Awesome. So yeah, so you know, thank you, sir. That's going in a frame or near a frame. Uh, so where do I start? Uh, I don't know what this is. Um, it's it appears to be a, an air pillow. So this must contain some maybe the official Chad Bailey uh, scent so and he sent me two of them so that's the scent of Chad Bailey two times over so I'm gonna I'm gonna be utilizing that uh, over the next couple days thank you Chad um, I don't know where to start with this holy shit I really don't know where to start with this it all kinda started with this game I'll show you like um, I wanted he, he was trying to send me requests for what games to put on grub games 
which I haven't really done since December, but uh, they're coming back. Trust me, there'll, there'll be a Grub Games coming up soon. <laughs> I say, fuck, I say that, but uh, you know, uh, I'm, I, it might not even be happening quickly, but uh, yeah, so, and he's found this game, and he said, you have to play this on Grub Games, and I was like, well, fucking dude, I'm looking on eBay for it, and it's like 12 bucks. And he's and he found one for next to nothing down the states because that's the thing like eBay Canada and eBay US like you guys down the states you fucking you, we get hosed up here basically is what the dealio is uh, but down there you you guys get to fucking you know nobody charges shipping and everything's fucking two ninety nine you know what I mean or best offer so I don't remember what this was but this was really cheap and this is this is what started it all off I believe this trade and uh, look for this in an ex grub games. Um, it's fucking Pets Crazy Monkey. Pets Crazy Monkey. And if you see the back... <laughs> uh, <laughs> play with a family of wild and crazy monkeys, it says on it. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute, Chad. Is that you on there? My god, this is why you got the game for so cheap. You're in the fucking game. But yeah, it says play with your crazy monkeys, play with them using your Wii remote, dress them up and watch them go wild. <laughs> Adopt or combine breeds of breeds to create a family. Oh, so you can you can mix them together and like Adopt up to 10 monkeys or combine breeds to create a unique monkey. <laughs> so this is what started it all. Pets Crazy Monkey. So this is definitely going to be the next Grub Games, even though it was supposed to be something else. Here, I've got to adjust this camera because you can see the shadow. And I don't fucking like that. You know, move it down. So I can now look down upon you at all, all again. Okay, the next game. Um, is a sports title. I don't have any of these games. This is fucking insane. Um... This is insane, actually. Uh, look, it's MLB Slugfest 2003, and I'm, I know I don't have that fucking game. Fuck, I can't even bend down to see. No, I don't. No, I, of course I don't. MLB Slugfest 2003. Uh, it looks awesome. I can't wait to play it because it says there's a riot at the bat rack. So, yeah, there's that. Awesome. I do not have that. I can't believe I'm getting fucking GameCube games. This is unbelievable. I've been so fucking dry on the GameCube fucking tip that uh, getting these games is, is fucking... Oh, my God. Thank you, Chad. Fucking before I even fucking start. Uh, Call of Duty Finest Hour. Now... I don't know what portion of the game the finest hour is going to encapsulate, but probably the first hour of it, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, it's the world's darkest hour shall be my finest, it says on the back. So, Call of Duty Finest Hour, I do not have that. I don't have any of these fucking games. That's the fucking bonus of this. And some of them are fucking pretty good. So, Call of Duty Finest Hour, awesome. Uh, another one where you shoot people. It's uh, Medal of Honor, European Assault, A Time for Heroes, A Time for Honor. Uh, so yeah. Oh no, shit. You don't play, you volunteer. I hate volunteering for shit. But still, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna volunteer for the uh, for the European Assault, and I'm gonna go in there and uncover the Nazis' dark secrets. It says on the back. Ooh. I think some of that was cross-dressing. So, so cross-dressing uh, uh, Nazis in there. Look forward to that. Um, here's another one. Don't I don't have this? I ca I kept seeing it with like no cover, or I'd open it up and it would have the wrong fucking game in it and all that shit. Or I'd see it for some different console, but it's fucking dead to rights, or as I always call it, bang to rights. But yeah, one good cop, one very bad situation, so I do not have that fucking game, and this is gonna look so fucking good with the fucking other GameCube games. It's gonna feel 
really good putting it on the shelf. Oh, God, slotting it into the fucking gap. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I'm saying? Bang to rights, fucking awesome. Uh, let's keep going on the GameCube tip. Oh my god, I've been, I've been waiting to find this forever. And fucking Chad Bailey comes through and fucking sends it to me. This is why, oh god, go like, subscribe, and favorite his fucking channel. And uh, he's actually started putting his fucking head on there too. Well, not just his head, his shoulders as well. In the first video it was just his head. But now it's his fucking shoulders as well. But it's fucking Strike Force Bowling. Yes! And it's right up your fucking alley! Sweet! Is this two player? It's fucking one to four player! I'll be playing this, dude. This is gonna be. This is. This is. This is my next six months of entertainment right here in my hand. This is like. It's one of those games that you fucking expect to see, but the, the reason why you never see it is because no one fucking bought it. So, Strike Force fucking bowling for the GameCube, for fuck's sake, Jesus Christ, that's fucking awesome! And, uh, another one that I don't have, and he, I think he actually had to see, yeah, he put another card in here. He sourced a manual for me for this as well, like, it's so it's, uh, boxed and complete. It's Billy Hatcher in the fucking giant egg! He may wear a rooster suit, but no one calls him chicken! Jesus Christ, all fucking mighty! Billy fucking Hatcher, everyone! Chad Bailey's the fucking kingpin for finding this shit, he, and he has better luck than anybody that I know of. This guy's got a fucking, excuse me, he's got a fucking horseshoe up his ass when he goes out and looks for games. I always accuse him of finding Cubivore for 50 cents. Here's another one that I don't have. Um, and uh, it's got some weird stuff on it there, Chad. What have you been doing with this? You rolling a doobie on this? Because that looks very roll a doobie ish. Because uh, trust me, most of my video games used to look like that when I was still rolling doobies. But now, of course, I'm not allowed to do that anymore. You fucking bastards. Anyway, but look at this. It's Crash Nitro Kart, for fuck's sakes. Bandicoots and bad guys, so start your fucking engines. I think I have this on PS2, but uh, of course that's in a box somewhere, or I traded it, or some fucking thing, I don't even remember. But it's back, everyone! Crash Nitro Kart for the fucking GameCube! Holy shit! Again, thank you, Chad Bailey! Uh, here's another one that I didn't even know existed, and it contains three must-have hits. Oh, God! But it contains a character that uh, I think has a pretty bad attitude and uh, should be uh, uh, punished. It's fucking Sonic Gems Collection. And I think he found two of these within like a week. Because that's what kind of guy he is, right? Mr. Fucking finding a whole bunch of fucking games I've never seen before for fucking 50 cents. So, Sonic Gems Collection. I don't have this. It contains uh, Sonic CD... Sonic the Fighters and Sonic R. Sonic R? What the fuck? R what? Are you kidding? Sonic! Uh, gems! Fucking gems! If those are the gems, let me know. And here's another one. I didn't have this, and he fucking sent it to me, because it was a spare, and now I have it. And fucking black label version, I have one that was sent to me from uh, Sega and more, uh, a UK PAL version. But it's fucking Mario Kart Double Dash, the legit fucking NTSC version. And it's back in my collection. Oh my god, fucking Christ. I'm, it's double the fun. That, oh, fuck. Yes. Double the fun. Fucking Mario Kart Double Dash. Thank you. I'm, I'm going to fucking play this today. I'm actually going to play this today. I'm actually going to play it today. I'm going to play a game, everyone. It's unfucking precedented. The precedent. It's un. This is. Oh. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay, so. And he also sent me this. This is just a box. But I'm going to show you something amazing happen with this box. Because it's going to be fucking amazing. I'm going to grab a box from up here, 
hopefully not have caused a fucking game avalanche. I'm going to grab this plain box up here because this will play a part in the next fucking situation here. Ow, I hurt my shoulder. Oh, fuck, my poor shoulder. He sent me a box for Mario Party 5. In this box, this plain case, is Mario Party 5. I'm going to place this game in this box. And now I have a boxed Mario Party 5! So all I need is Mario Party 4, which is coming. And I will have all the Mario Party games for the GameCube. Thank you, Chad fucking Bailey, for fucking sending this to me. God damn it! This is great! And here's, look at this, he sent me an Xbox game. And this, I don't know why he sent this to me. I couldn't imagine why he would send this to me. I might hook, hook uh, it's dead or alive, extreme beach volleyball. I mean, oh, it says stimulating activities await you, fast and fierce action, killer soundtrack, or rip your own. Chad, I know what you're trying to do here, buddy. I know what you're trying to do. Thank you. Oh, my God. That looks more awesome than I can even imagine. I've never played any of those fucking extreme beach volleyball games, but I think, judging by this, this is the only one I'll ever need. I had to burn out the fucking hard drive fucking on the Xbox playing that one. Um, here's a, uh, 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 what should I do next? He, he found this for five bucks. And uh, he sent it to me. It's a DS game. Um, this might go over the 20 minutes. I might be able to fit it all in. Um, he found this. This is still sealed. And it's Golden Sun. Dark Dawn. So check that out. Command the elements and save the planet. Two things? You have to do two things in this? Holy shit. Now that's a fucking RPG and a half. Dark Dawn. So that's awesome. I remember the conversation we had about this when he got it. Look, the fucking stickers came off and it's still sealed. So that may remain still sealed for quite some time, but still, regardless, thank you, Chad, for that. Ooh, that looks cool, actually. That looks pretty cool. Traditional RPG action. Uh, here's some PlayStation. Oh my god. Here's some PlayStation games. Uh, of course, he sent, he sent me another copy. I have this already uh, several times over, but it's always good to have another copy of fucking Spice World. You know what I'm saying? This is uh, Join the Spice Girls as they enter their own interactive dimension. Who wouldn't? Right? Who wouldn't? So, of course, everyone should have this. And this is, of course, the black label version. So, it's, you know, it's worth a fortune. I'm, I'm going to have to actually put this in the vault. Uh, open the vault. There's another one to go in there. Spice World. Here's another one. I don't think there's enough stickers on this, but... Uh, and this looks like a two-disker. It's a two-disker. This is a two-disker. I, I don't know how they do it, but this is a two-disker. Encounter the myth, everyone. Do it! Encounter the myth of... Dracula the Resurrection! Yes! And it's new! Look at that! Dracula the Resurrection! Experience the adventure, it says on the back. So, yeah, Dracula the... what? Resurrection. I don't know what kind of game that is. It's fully immersive and addictive. There's unprecedented 3D characters. There's a full 360 degree panoramic viewing and incredibly realistic 3D environments. And it's two discs. It's two fucking discs. So fuck that. I mean, this is, this, here's my, this is gonna take me for, okay, so we're, we're at the point where it's gonna do that jump cut thing. So I'm just gonna sit here for a second. So yeah, so far we've got, I've got 
a wackadoo of GameCube games, and it's fucking awesome. So here comes the jump cut. This fucking stupid camera. I'm going to have to figure out how to fix that. Here, I'm going to do something extreme. No, I'm not. And we're back. It's recording again. Okay, and, okay, here's the next one. Um, he, he got this for me. He said he couldn't pass it up because this looks like another fucking grub game. Spectacular. And we all know how much I love this person when I'm doing a grub games this is this I, I'm it's oh my god this is a two-player game as well oh this one might be a cooperation what we have here is a uh, Barbie race and ride race ride jump and explore with Barbie in this two-player horseback riding adventure choose and name your very own horse Race against friends in two-player races and time competitions. Solve all the levels to find a secret surprise at the Mystery Ranch. That's fucking happening. I'm hooking up my fucking PlayStation too, man. I'm playing all these fucking games fucking today, brother. Keep looking off to the side. I look like shit. But it's not about what I look like. It's about this fucking package. I've created a lovely array of uh, games off to the side. And here's another game he got. He got this one off Amazon, I think, for like 10 bucks or some fucking thing like that. And uh, it's it's the most modern thing in the box. And uh, it doesn't get any better than this. And uh, it's multiplayer. And uh, I have the number two of this. And I'll probably steal number one off of the internet somewhere and play it that way because I don't know even know what fucking console it, it's on uh... someone tell me but he got me fucking Mass Effect 3 for the Wii U <laughs> special edition take earth back take earth back command the battlefield with the Wii U gamepad so that's pretty awesome holy shit dude a Wii U game? that's nuts! And there's a couple more items in here, and these these look like bonus uh, beats. Oh my god, you know me so well. You know me so well. I, I mean, that's the thing, Chad. It's like you've been peeking in my window late at night, or reading my uh, private diaries. Because, oh my god, I, I, I don't even know where to start. But here, I'll start with this. He sent me a, a what are these called? Fucking, what are these called? One of these things. But it says PS Vita on it. What is that thing called? Carabiner. Keychain. So I'll be using that. I'll use that when I'm at work. I will hook my fucking wrench or some fucking thing to it so I don't lose it. Because I've lost fucking 50 wrenches in the fucking bushes. And this will aid in my uh, not losing a wrench. So PS Vita Carabiner. Where the fuck? Throw that back in the box. And this is the character I always use when I play Mario Kart DS. It's got pullback action. You know what I'm saying? Uh, who doesn't? Um, this is exciting for me, and uh, this will uh, provide me with hours of entertainment. It's the Princess Peach fucking Mario Kart DS fucking wheelie car. Holy shit, dude. You know me so well. I play Peach in the game. Unbelievable. And finally, well not finally, there'll be one extra little thing at the end. Finally, now, as you may or may not know, I'm a big Sporty Spice fan. I've got her, she's over here on the counter. Hey, Sporty, how's it going? Whoa. Come on, don't embarrass me. Um, and, uh, you know, you probably would would think, geez, you know what he, he really needs? It'd be, it'd be awesome if he could have Sporty Spice, like, with him 24 hours a day. Well, I'll tell you, man. Having fucking Sporty Spice with me 24 hours a day would be one thing. But let's have fucking Sporty Spice in my pocket. <laughs> yeah, Mel C in my fucking pocket. I'm cutting a fucking hole in my pocket. Putting this in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Too much information. Fucking Sporty Spice in my pocket? This is... I don't know what's better. 
Oh, God. God, you know me well, Chad. Okay, and that's it. One more thing. Uh, I have a thing for uh, Soft Otaku that I requested him getting for me. Uh, if he watches this, uh, I will. Uh, he'll see it at the end, but it's the uh, Hyperzone manual. So, your Hyperzone is now complete. So, for God's sakes, do not source another manual. I had Chad Bailey get this for you. So that's the box, man. Unbelievable. 25 minute video. Holy shit. Probably be even longer than that when I, uh... Oh, God. Okay, well, thanks, Chad, for this awesome fucking box. You are fucking kingpin. Um... I hope you like all the shit that I'm gonna fucking send you eventually. Uh, probably, I'll probably be a little while longer on that, but, um, you know, I'm the lazy fucking guy. Look at me. I'm, I look like I'm half asleep, for fuck's sake. It's wonder if you can even get out of the house. So, yeah, so, fucking A, man. Go check out Chad Bailey if you haven't. I fucking highly endorse his, uh, uh, channel. I endorse it. It's, it's Grub Gun approved. I'll put in the graphic there. Extend the video out. Um, put it in right here. So yeah, that was good. And um, he also uh, he helps me out when I'm out and I see games and stuff. And I uh, I send him pictures on my phone and I ask if I should buy them or what you know whether he needs them or whatever. And he does all kinds of fucking research on how much things are worth and whether it's rare and he helped me out the other day fucking looking up DS games on the fucking emulator for my fucking emulator. The guy, he's fucking, he's a gem of the fucking YouTube community and I mean, as you can tell, uh, the guy knows his shit with fucking sending shit in a fucking trade, so. Thank you, Chad Bailey. You fucking giant sexy beast and uh, I'll be fucking talking to you soon. In fact, I talked to you, what, how many minutes ago? At 11.20. <clears throat> and it's 11.50 right now, so I just talked to you. So yeah, fucking, there you go, a package from fucking Chad Bailey. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can go fuck back off and do whatever the fuck you're doing, and I'm gonna go to my parents' house and have some shepherd's pie or something. So yeah, got a good pickup video coming up, and and, and pretty soon, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about the box, man. It's all about the box, and it's about the fucking crazy monkey. This has been Grub Gun, and I'm fucking signing out. Link in the description. Where's the fucking button on this? There's there's Chad Bailey right there. It's like having him here in the house. See you later, everyone.